Hi, my name's Derek McLeod, and I'm an electrical assessor. Wanted to make a short, a very short video on the use of Smart Assessor app for apprentices. Now, in particular, I want to look at off-the-job training. Um, I've made a video already. It's on my YouTube channel. It's a series of videos. There's one on there that looks in detail at off-the-job training how to record it on through your desktop desktop app or your um, on your laptop and it looks in more detail at the types of things you can use as evidence so that's where I would steer you to and you know that I'm an advocate of using your laptop or desktop to work on your portfolio rather than your smartphone tiny little screen however Having said that, um, the Smart Assess app is really good for capturing a little bit of evidence and in particular for off the job training. It doesn't get any simpler and I want to show you how easy it is. OK, so let's move away from that. And then we'll look. So this is my assessor's screen and I'm looking at this learner. Just a test portfolio. And we can have a look at this learner and let's see if he's done any off the job recording of training. Look at his time log at, uh, tab and he's, this learner has done zero hours. So we need to change that and I want to show you how easy it is using the Smart Assessor app. So Smart Assessor app available for your smartphone, and this is an iPhone, but it's available for both Android and iPhone users. So download it, log in, and then when you log in, you go through and your, your screen will probably look like, look like that. And you will sit, see at the bottom there, there's, you know, you can check your progress. Okay, you can capture a little bit of evidence, but let's look at your time log, recording off the job training. So my assessor can see that I've done zero hours, but I'm gonna record some hours. So click on the, the little clock at the bottom, says time log. Takes you through to this screen, and I wanna record a little bit of off the job training. So today's date, 12th of March, 2024. And I wanna record six hours uh, spent learning at college in my classroom. And yesterday, Monday, the 11th of March, I've got one hour that I spent learning in the workplace. So let's look at yesterday's activity. Okay, and I was shown uh, and training is any training that takes place in the workplace. So let's give you a really simple task. So you can see, we're going to select the activity. So who trained me? Well, yesterday, my boss showed me. So I was coached or mentored. So you can see I've selected that. How much time did I spend? He spent an hour, one hour, see how simple as that, click, click done. Was it on the job? No, it was, we're recording off the job training, really confusing terminology, but it is off the job. That's what we wanna build up our hours on. Okay, what was the date yesterday? Yesterday was the 11th of March, 2024, click done. My assessor, well, this learner has Derek McLeod as the assessor. So what did I learn? So I'm going to type in one sentence. All right, so what did I do? Well, I was shown how to separate waste material. Okay. Simple as that. And then you can see at the top right hand side. So that's all, it, that's all I want to do. And I'm going to click the little icon there to save it. 
and time log was updated. So there's an hour there. That was yesterday. Today I'm at college spending six hours. You can see that my time log's already been updated. So today, what was I? I'm in college. So that's a traditional face-to-face -face session between me and the class tutor. How long did I spend? Well, I spent all day in the classroom today. So that's six hours. It's a maximum of six hours guided learning hours. You can see I've selected six hours. Done. Was it on the job? Like I say, it's always off the job, isn't it? We record off the, on the job if you want, but it doesn't count towards your total. What was the date? It's today. It's the 12th of March. 12th of March. Done. Select assessor. It's me. Uh, and what was I working on? Well, I'm going to put down I was learning for my 104 design project. Simple. Learning for my 104 design project. So click the tip. And then we're going to update. We're going to press the little, on the top right, the little save. And you can see, time log updated. Okay, so if we go back to the the assessor's screen now, and let's just look at this learner. And we'll go and have a look at the time log. There should be seven hours there. Look, seven hours. So... It doesn't get any easier than that with regards to recording your off the job training using the Smart Assessor app you can put on your uh, smartphone. You can do that literally in the workplace. You can do that when you're traveling back home from work. If your colleague is driving, your boss is driving, and I wouldn't expect that takes you longer than 30 seconds. I bet you've learned something new. OK, um, in the workplace, almost daily, especially when you start. So take time each day, certainly as a minimum each week, to record the, the training that you've received, both in the workplace and at home. And the good thing about the app is that you can enter, you can make these time log entries on Smart Assessor app, uh, even if you're offline. And as soon as it's got connectivity, it'll update your portfolio. So I hope this is helpful and can show you how little time it takes to make time log entries.